Hello and welcome to my video which will teach you how to do a variety of quilled shapes. If you're completely new to quilling I have another video for you which is all about getting started in quilling and sets you up with the basics. In that video I show you how to make a basic loose coil shape as well as a teardrop. However if you haven't seen that video I'm just going to recap how to make a loose coil and a teardrop shape now so that you're all caught up and then I'll move on to the other shapes. First of all you will need a slotted tool which is the main quilling tool. You will also need paper strips and glue. I also use a quilling board and a quilling needle to apply the glue. The first thing I'm going to show you is how to make a loose coil and to do this you simply put the very end of one paper strip into your slotted tool and then rotate your tool to carefully spiral that paper strip and wind it around the top of the slotted tool. It's not vital to know this but each side of the paper strip is either smooth or rough and you should keep the smooth side on the outside of the coil. Once you've wound it up you would then use a quilling board. Now depending on where you put the coil on the quilling board depends on how big that coil will be. Obviously if you put the coil in a bigger circle then you'll make a bigger coil. So I'm just going to put the paper coil here and let it unfurl to fill that circle. I then apply a little bit of glue to the end of the paper strip on the outside of the coil and then stick it down to keep the coil in the correct shape. If you don't have a quilling board you can just very carefully on a flat surface unfurl the coil until it is the size you want it and then do exactly the same and glue the end of the paper strip down. And that gives you one loose paper coil. And this is the basic building block of quilling and you'll see me use it later on in the video a few times to make the other shapes. Now I'm going to show you how to make a tight coil. To do this all you do is use a slotted tool in exactly the same way to wind the paper strip into a spiral and then you just glue the end of the paper coil onto the coil itself without letting the coil unfurl or loosen at all. And that's a tight coil shape. One coiled paper strip will fit exactly into the circles at the bottom of your quilling board if you have one. Now I'm just going to show you how to turn a loose coil shape into a teardrop. And this is very simple, all you have to do is pinch one side of that loose coil shape. And there you have it, one teardrop. And now we're going to make a crescent shape or a semicircle shape. First you're going to make a teardrop shape. Now you're going to use the handle part of a slotted tool. Now depending if you want the crescent to be symmetrical or asymmetrical it is dependent on where you push this handle into the teardrop. So if you push it down in the centre then you're going to get more of a symmetrical crescent. If you push it off to one side then you'll get an asymmetrical crescent shape. If you push it hard then it will be more of a crescent shape and if you don't push it very much you might get more of a semicircle shape. You simply manipulate the paper until you get the shape that you want. That's all quilling is really, it's just manipulation using a couple of simple tools on your fingers to create the shapes you want. If at first you don't get the shape you want then you can keep going and keep folding and keep trying until you do get what you want. Now the next shape I'm going to show you goes through a series of shapes. So in this little section you'll learn how to make an eye, a square, a diamond and a kind of star or cross shape. To start with you'll need a loose coil shape and then you pinch opposing sides of that shape between your fingers. You then push the points together a little bit to create a pretty effective eye shape. If you then pinch the centre of each of the sides you can get a diamond shape. You can then manipulate this diamond into more of a square shape if you like. Then to make a sort of star shape 
you can press your finger into the centre of each of the sides and push the adjacent points together. So you do this on all sides, pressing your finger into the centre of the side and then pressing the points either side together. This will make a kind of star shape. If you would like to make more of a cross shape, you can pinch opposing points between your fingers and then push these together to make this shape. Next we will learn how to make an S or Z shape. So to make an S you pinch each side of a loose coil to make a kind of flat oval and then you grab each of these points and push them one above the other. Try not to let the middle pop out like I just did. And as you can see my glue has actually come undone here so I'll just go and fix that. So you just grab a point in each hand and push the right hand point under the left hand point as you push them together. Then to reinforce those folds you squash the whole thing into the S shape. And there you go, there's an S or a Z shape or just a squiggle. Next is a rectangle shape. To do a rectangle you simply pinch both sides of a loose coil and then you move your hands clockwise or anti-clockwise just a short distance and do exactly the same pinching each side of the shape. Now we're going to learn how to make a triangle. To do this you have to pinch the outside edge of a loose coil in three places. If you want an equilateral triangle you'll have to pinch them at even intervals so the distance between each of these points would have to be the same. So you can just start with one point and then try and do the next two points an even distance apart and an even distance from the first point. And then it's as easy as that, there's a triangle. The next shape we'll learn is a ring or bubble shape. Now you can make a bubble or ring as big as you want it and in as many different colours as you want. You can use any cylindrical object to wrap your paper strip around to make this ring shape. However, I'm going to use the handle of my slotted tool. All you do is take one paper strip and apply a little bit of glue to the end of that strip. You then wrap that paper strip once around the slotted tool or whatever tool you're using and glue it onto itself to make that inner ring shape. You then just continue wrapping that paper strip around the cylinder, rotating the tool to help you until you come to the end of your paper strip. You then glue the end of that paper strip down. If you want the ring to be bigger then you attach another paper strip using glue. You then wrap this paper strip around the ring shape going in the same direction as you did previously. Then when you've finished you glue the end of the paper strip onto the ring. You can then remove the ring from the tool and you've finished. The more paper strips you add the bigger the ring or bubble shape will be. Next we have a heart shape. Now for a heart, once again you're going to make a teardrop shape and then you're going to get your slotted tool and using the metal thin part you're going to push down at the opposite side of the point on the teardrop. You're going to push that tool towards the centre of that teardrop shape. If you don't quite get the shape you want 
then you can just keep going and keep folding and pinching and creasing until you get the shape you do want. This next section will show you how to make a pentagon or house shape and a five point star. So to begin you need a loose coil shape and you first need to make one point, i.e. a teardrop shape. And then on the opposite side of this point you need to make two more points. A bit like a fox's face I think with the bottom point being a nose and then the top two being ears. You then add a point in the center of each of the long sides. So you pinch each of the long sides in the center. And that gives you five points that should be around equal distance apart. It can take some practice to do this by eye. And there you have a pentagon or house shape. You then simply use your finger to push down in the center of each of the sides and also push those adjacent points together and do this for every side. So you just push your finger into the center of each side and push the points on either side together. And then you should end up with a nice five point star shape. And the last shape is a tulip or paw print. So first of all, you'll make a teardrop shape from a loose coil again. And then just to the left and just to the right of that point, you're going to make another point to make a total of three points. So you just pinch the paper a short distance to the right of the teardrop point and a short distance to the left of the teardrop point. And you reinforce those folds and then squash all of those points together just to make sure they're nice and sharp. And there you go, a tulip flower head or a paw print. I hope this quilling tutorial has proved useful for you and thanks very much for watching.